Okay, now for question number four from the practice paper B of um, Pure Mathematics 1 International A Level. This is just like a, a paper that's been put together to give some more practice for this type of um, question where there's not really many past papers of this type. So we've got triangle ABC where side AB has a length of 10 centimeters, side AC has a length of 5 centimeters, and the angle BAC equals theta, with theta is measured in degrees, and the area of the triangle is 15 square centimeters. Find the two possible values of cosine theta. Okay, so the, the area of the triangle is fixed as 15, the side length AB is fixed as 10, the side length AC is fixed as 5, uh, but the angle obviously can vary because there's two possible values for the cosine of the angle. Okay, so let's just have a look at this type of situation. Let's, let's say that this is the length, one of the lengths. Okay, now what have they told us? They have told us um, AB is 10 and the angle is um, BAC. So let's call this side A and call this side B. Let's say that's a longer side, that's 10. And then AC is 5. So AC possibly could be about that length, about that length over there. That could be C over there. Okay, that could be 5 centimeters. And in that case, this would be BC. And so angle theta would be BAC, which is this angle over here. Okay, now, how is it possible there to be two values of cosine theta? Well, there's an, an, an alternative um, drawing of this particular triangle because theta, for example, if it was over, if this, this line is five centimeters, it could also be five centimeters, say over there, that could be the same length, five centimeters, all right? And this length here would then be this long here, and then you would have a triangle where you still have the same area because it's the base times the vertical height would be the same but this angle now would be another say let's call me let me let's call that theta dash that would be another possible angle that we can have so there's two possible angles that we can have in this in this question so that's where you got to be careful where it says find the two possible values of cosine theta many people in this question that only get one angle and they wouldn't know what to do next okay so let's just first ignore the second case and think about the first case and deal with that and then we'll move on to the second case now it's saying find the two possible values of cosine theta well we know the area of this triangle is 15 centimeters squared we know two sides and we and we we know that the angle between the two sides is what we have to find so that's a case of the area of a triangle is a half times BC sine theta okay where you have a half times the two sides that make the angle times the sine of the angle gives you the area so here we can say a half times 5 times 10 times the sine of theta is equal to 15 centimeters squared so the only thing we don't know here is sine theta and we're asked here to find two possible values of cosine theta let's find what sine theta is first so we can say that sine theta well, we've got a half times 10 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. So we've got 25 sine theta is equal to 15. So sine theta is equal to 15 over 25. So sine theta is equal to, and this gives us 3 fifths. 5 goes into both of those, and it cancels down to 3 fifths. Now, that's not the answer. The question tells us to find cosine theta. Now, what some people will do here is they'll find what theta is using the calculator, shift sine of 3 fifths, and they'll get an angle which will then be rounded, and then your answer won't come out as an exact value. When you've got a situation like this, we've got two options. One option is you can say, all right, sine th theta equals 3 fifths. So let's imagine there's a triangle, a right angle triangle. It's not this triangle I'm drawing, it's another triangle. But it's a triangle in which, say, that's the angle theta, and the opposite over the hi uh, hypotenuse, the, the sine of the theta is three-fifths, then the cosine of theta is going to be four-fifths, because this side is the shorter side in this right angle tri in the triangle, Pythagoras' theorem, and this is going to become four, because it's the shorter side here, and six, five squared is 25 minus 3 squared, which is 9, that's 16. The square root of 16 is 4, 3, 4, 5 triangle. So we can say here that the cosine 
of theta is equal to four fifths. Okay, so a lot of people might stop there and they, they might not realize the fact that say find the two possible values of cosine theta. Um, alternatively, another way of, of doing the first part here is to say, okay, let's use the identity, although that doesn't come in P1, but the identity sine squared plus cosine, th sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one. Uh, that's another way, but I will leave that because that's really a P2 type of concept. So basically this is um, what we realize that, you know, the sine of an angle is three fifths. Okay, the cosine of that same, same angle is four fifths. However, however, as we mentioned before, there are two possible drawings for this triangle. And one of them is where you get a triangle like this, where the angle theta is a, an obtuse angle, like this. It's not an acute angle. Okay, it's an obtuse angle going all the way across there. That's another possible value of the angle theta. Okay, so what we should realize with the sine curve Okay, there are uh, two possible values for the sine of uh, theta. Okay, there's two possible angles. Well, in, in, in between 0 and 180 degrees, all angles in a triangle cannot be more than 180. All right? Then the, the maximum value of angle must be less than 180, any one angle. So, therefore, between 0 and 180 degrees, the sine curve looks like this. And say this is 3 fifths. There are two possible angles which share the same cosine sine ratio. Okay, one is acute and one is obtuse. That's why we can see that this angle has two possible values. One is obtuse and one is acute. Okay, this is an acute one, this is an obtuse one. Okay. Now the sine the cosine curve, it looks like this. It goes to 90 degrees and goes down to minus one at 180. Now, for this angle. It has a value four fifths, okay. But there's another value, okay, over here, okay, where th if if the angle was acute, it would be four fifths. If the angle was obtuse, okay, it would be this angle over here, which will have this value, which is minus four fifths. So the cosine of theta can either be four fifths or minus four fifths. You can also think about it in terms of the quadrants, okay. Um, you can have the angle over here, in, in which, where it's acute, sine, cosine, and tangent all, are all positive in this quadrant. Or it can be in this quadrant over here, where the angle would be obtuse. This would be the angle, and in this quadrant, only sine is positive, cosine is negative here. But it will have the same ratio of, this will be 4 over 5, adjacent over hypotenuse. Alright, so it would be um, basically minus 4 over 5. So the two values of cosine theta are either four fifths or negative four fifths. Okay, I hope that was clear for that one. It's two possible values. Then it says, given that BC is the longest side of the triangle, find the exact length of BC. Well, of course, if BC is the longest side of the triangle, okay, then we're going to consider the obtuse angle. That's what will cause this side to be longer. Always opposite the largest angle in any triangle will be the longest side. Okay, so that's why um, in a right angle triangle the hypotenuse is the longest side because of course there cannot be more than, I mean the, the, if, night, if you have an angle of 90 degrees you can't have any other angle bigger than that. The other two angles must be smaller. So here in this case if, if this angle is acute, okay, it's possible for AB to be longer than um, BC. But if this angle is obtuse there can be no other angle which is as big as that so BC will then be the longest side. So we're going to take the case where theta is obtuse. So theta, we have to take the case where theta is an obtuse angle. So theta is obtuse. In that case, cosine theta, when theta is obtuse, the cosine of theta has to be negative four-fifths because that's when it's in this second quadrant, where cosine is negative, where, co where the, the angle is between 90 and 180. So cosine is negative in that, in that region. So what we're going to do here, if we want to find a third side, we have a triangle that looks like this now. I'll just draw it out. It looks something like this. Okay. So here you have your angle theta. Oops. Got the shape recognition pen on. Here you have your angle theta. Here you have your 10 
And here you have your five. It's not really very well drawn. I'm just a rough sketch. We want to find X. Okay, this is going to be your side BC. Okay, A, B, C. So this is B and this is A and this is C. In this case, we're taking the obtuse angle. So we can say that A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2B C cosine theta in this case, or cosine A, write the general formula. That's the cosine rule, which is actually given to you in the um, at Excel formula book, although most of you, after your IGs, should have it engraved in your brains. Um, basically now, um, our X is what we're trying to find. B and C are the two sides that make the angle where, that we, um, we know. Okay, so you know these two sides and the angle, so you have to use 5 and 10 in the place of B and C, and X is what we're trying to find, so that's just going to be your A. So you've got 5 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 5 times 10 times cosine of theta. Now we know that cosine of theta is minus 4 fifths, so then I can replace that with minus 4 fifths. So you've got 25 plus 100 minus... That's going to be 2 times 5, which is 10. That's going to be 100. Okay. Um, 2 times 5 times 10. That's 100 times cosine of theta, which is minus 4 fifths. Okay. So you have x squared equals 125 plus, and you're going to have um, 5 into 100 goes 20 times. Okay. And that's going to be plus 80. So x squared will be 205, therefore x is equal to the square root of 205. Okay, so bc is equal to the square root of 205, and it said find the exact value as I remember correctly. Yes, it find the exact length of bc means leave it in this form. Uh, the square root of 205, just to verify, it does not break down does not break down let me just the square root of 205 no nope. that's a simplified third form so there we have our answer to this question and one little point if we took cosine theta as four fifths that means it would have been the um, acute angle what you'd notice here is that you'd have you'd have 125 minus 80 because this would be uh, minus times plus which would be minus so there would be 125 minus 80 so you'd have ha ended up with a smaller value for BC okay so a little point there so basically um, this question there's I've seen questions like this coming up in the specimen paper and in the sample assessment paper and even in the January paper where you get a triangle and there's an ambiguous case where the sign of the angle can have two possible values okay so take care of that especially when you see a question like this. They made it very clear, two possible values of cosine theta. So a lot of people would have got this far and they wouldn't know what to do next. How do I find another value of you know, theta? You need to think about this. Okay, thank you for, for watching.